Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your mid-January 2023 general tarot updates. It's Raina here. Those top cards are tough. So when I look at the middle card, this is kind of describing the current energies and the situation at hand, the nine of wands, which is a card of somebody having their boundaries up for some reason. Why do they have their boundaries up? What's going on with them? Um, people can do that because they've been taken advantage of there's somebody, you know, we are still with retrogrades, uh, including your ruler, Mercury, and that could bring people from the past. Uh, and this is the past card, and it's the devil card. And I think of a narcissist, meaning that sometimes you have an ex who's just like, you're not compatible with them, and then sometimes it's a narcissist who is the past relationship and that person is very problematic they have um a lot of um issues of uh, you know like a need for control and they have to have that kind of what we that they call supply they have to always get it. And when they go to one person and they suck them dry, then they have to go to somebody else. And sometimes they call their old partner back because they're looking for more supplies. So um, there's something where you feel like you're kind of wary about something. Not weary, you know, not tired, but weary or um kind of watching your back because you suspect that this person is possibly conspiring to worm their way back into your life you know something along those lines the higher message or the spiritual message is the five of swords this is just a, a general card of a lot of back stabbing kind of behaviors so this can be slander and other things the reason that this is so important to really understand is that this person may talk a good game they may act like oh you know they just are so innocent and they're really smearing you behind your back and other things and smiling to your face so it's so important not to just believe what somebody says. It's what are they doing, not what they're saying. And you may have finally put that person in your past and then all of a sudden you receive a phone call from them. And if you try to ignore them, they just like, they might double down. They Then that makes them even more driven to get a hold of you because it's all about their control. So if the person doesn't give them attention, then they become obsessed. Like, oh my gosh, you know, now I really want <laughs> to find out what is going on with that person. Why aren't they as keen to, you know, hook up with me as they were before? And it makes them kind of wonder. And the reason it makes them wonder is because they are trying to control the situation. And you're not playing their game anymore. So you have to watch out for those dynamics because they can be real. What crosses you is the star card. Faith and unseen forces. If you're someone 
for instance, who um, wants to, to be in a relationship, even as a Gemini, there are some of you who are more relationship oriented, um, you may feel like, oh my gosh, maybe I should allow this person to come back into my life. I mean, what if nobody ever contacts me again and I'm just going to be alone for the rest of my life, for the rest of my miserable life? And the truth is that if you believe that there is someone who is out there for you, you never have to fear, you know, when is it coming because you know it's on its way. And unfortunately, people tend to have that kind of desire for this tangible proof that this is going to happen in this way on this date. And that can be very limiting because life doesn't work that way. Sometimes we don't experience things when we expect to, but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. What is coming in is Ace of Swords. I, I hope I said Ace, not Eight. And this is a card of mental clarity that allows you to take steps in um, the direction of your dreams coming from a very um, aware self. Not coming from... Like I just did Taurus's reading, the seven of cups, where there's muddled thinking where the person may want something so badly that they're distorted in terms of their perceptions about things. So it's really important to be able to, to see how all of this plays out in terms of your um, the choices that you make in life, because you may snap to it. If there is something going on, I mean, even like the, the, the devil card could even be like a boss who is, who exhibits narcissistic tendencies. And you can see the way that they treat their employees, that they don't really have their best interests at heart. And so you may have left that situation and they're trying to woo you back. And when you can see exactly what's going on without kind of painting this rosy picture, then you're not going to fall prey for those kinds of, um, you know, actions. And then the outcome is the six of cups. I'm glad the sun came out because I didn't have the, the, any lights on and it's, you know, it's been really overcast lately. So, as the outcome card, the Six of Cups, this is connected to cancer, the past, nostalgia. And really, it's almost like freeing you up to pursue those things uh, earlier on in your life that brought you simple joy. And it can be... Um, also, I, this is a soulmate card. So there might be someone, and that's with the star card, if you're blocking that, maybe because of your intellect, you're blocking this very real um, love that is waiting for you. That is your kind of like the person that is made for you are made to be with because they haven't come yet. And that person is waiting um, also with, with any kind of work. This, is, this can be things that you revisit that you loved when you were a child. Um, sometimes people say, I don't know what my purpose is in life. And I, I heard it said, you know, what was the thing that when you were a child you were obsessed to do? And you would do it no matter what. And that can at least point you in the direction of what it, what it is. Um, and this is like lo looking at life from the lens of, you know, a child's eyes, how they see things and 
that simple um, way of perceiving things. By the way, people, simplistic is not a positive word. So don't say simplistic. I, you know, if I said a simplistic way of seeing things, that would mean an overly shallow way of seeing things. Just say a simple way of seeing things. That kind of, um, you know, brings in the wholesomeness of life when people are living authentically. So that's what I have for you, uh, Gemini. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.